Alright folks and welcome to the Don's channel, I am the Don Feller and in this video I'm going to be trying to guess some Aussie slang and words and phrases. Um, so this is going to be called Scotsman Guesses Australian Slang. Okay, um, when I'm doing my videos I get lots of comments in the description section or when I'm talking to Aussies from down under um, on social media, a lot of them hit me with some Australian terms, phrases, words, etc. And it just leaves me scratching my head. Some of them are quite self-explanatory, they're quite similar to what we would use here in the UK. And like Australians, Scottish people have wins of slang terms, absolutely wrecks of them, which basically means a lot, um, a lot of slang words and terms and phrases. We like to do exactly the same thing, but this is about Australian slang, so let's get going. Um, I'm going to guess maybe about 20-25 words and phrases, and I'll also put up in belief what they actually mean after the video, because I haven't confirmed any of them yet. So, first up is the word bogan. Bogan. What does bogan mean? I actually know the answer to this one, but uh, I thought it wouldn't be an Aussie slang list without including it. A bogan is Australia's answer to the American Southern redneck. <laughs> Somebody with long hair, maybe a mullet, likes uh, playing the banjo, uh, driving in pickup trucks, drinking Budweiser, that sort of person. Australia's answer to a redneck, a bogan. Fair dinkum. Uh, fair dinkum, I can perceive this in several different ways, but I think fair dinkum means good on you mate, well done mate, fair dinkum, uh, good effort, um, fair dinkum, fair dinkum, just a damn good go, a good, a good, a good person, or somebody giving something a good go, fair dinkum, that's the way I perceive it, fair dinkum mate, good on you mate, well done, fair dinkum. It could be wrong, it's just the way I've perceived it. This one I'm really struggling with. When I was writing it down, I was just like, what the fuck does this mean? Apples shall be. Apples shall be. Apples shall be. Um, she'll be okay. She'll be alright. Um, apples shall be. She'll be okay. I'm going to go with that. Banana bender. Now, banana bender. I'm thinking I know the answer to this one. Um, it's kind of like Cockney rhyming slang in the UK. Um, the old um, rhyme a word to mean something else. It sounds like it, so that's what it is. A, a banana bender, a Queenslander, a banana bender, a Queenslander. And also, I'm going to add in one thing that I think this is why they're called Queenslander. Because up in the north of Queensland, they have loads of banana farms. So there's lots of bananas, sounds like a bit like Queenslander, a uh, banana bender, a Queenslander. A dog's breakfast. Now in Scotland we have a dog's breakfast. A dog, your dog, um, your dog is your dog. Um, a dog's breakfast, when somebody's just served you up, a, or you've served yourself up, just a whole concoction, a plate full of garbage, a plate full of shit. A dog's breakfast, you've got all the leftovers and you've just slapped it on a plate and you're scoffing it down, you're eating a dog's breakfast. A dog's breakfast is an absolute plate full of garbage, a plate full of sloppy shit. Dog's breakfast. Big smoke. Big smoke is a term that we would probably use here as well to describe, say you're somebody from a more rural area or a more country area and you're going to the big smoke, you're going to the city. So if you're from outside Melbourne or Brisbane or Sydney um, and, and a village or a, a smaller town and you're travelling in the city, you're going to the big smoke, you're going to the big city, the big smoke. No worries, no worries, no worries, no problem, no problem at all, um, no worries. Um, face off ones, face off ones, you're a face off ones ass, you're, you've got a face like a smacked ass. Um, when somebody's got a really crabbit face, face off one's arse, that's what you've got. Um, when you really look like they're pissed off, that's a total stab in the dark, a total guess there. A face off one's, when somebody's got a face like a smacked arse, they're really pissed off looking. <laughs> good day, good day, good day mate. Um, good day, good day, good day to you mate. Um, I hope you're having a good day. Good day, 
Get out. Give it a burrow. Give it a burrow. Give it a burrow. Give it a go. Give something a try. Give it a burrow. Grinning like a shot fox. Grinning like a shot fox. Kind of the same as grinning like a Cheshire cat, I'd imagine. When somebody's very pleased with themselves, somebody's really, really happy. They're grinning, they're giving it a big smile. Their, smi their smile's as wide as the, the Clyde. <laughs> um, very, very happy. Very smiley person. Um, good on ya. Good on ya, mate. Uh, good on ya. Well done. Good effort. Um, good on ya, mate. <laughs> it's hard to describe. It's just well done, mate. Good on ya. Liquid laugh. Um, when somebody's laughing, maybe. Um, laughing that hard or spitting. Liquid laugh. Liquid laugh. Um, when they vomit. Vomit, vomit. <laughs> when they're laughing that hard, they vomit. I don't know. A liquid laugh. Piece of piss. Now this is self-explanatory to anybody um, from the UK, but for somebody that's maybe watching this video from America, I don't know if you would say this, but a lot of Aussie slang seems to be quite close to Scottish slang, or uh, where I'm living in Northern Ireland, we use these terms as well. Uh, piece of piss. Something that's very, very easy. A task that is very easy. Um, when you're giving something a burrow it's a, and it's a piece of piss, when you're giving something a go and it's a very, very easy task, it's a piece of piss, mate. It's very easy. London to a brick. Now, this, this, this is a complete guess. I really have no idea. Um, when you're going to the city and it's a lot like, it's a big city, it's a big built up urban jungle. It's London to a brick. It's, very, it's almost the same as going to London. Um, when you're going to a place that's a big city, London to a brick, have no idea, complete guess. Good oil, good oil. Uh, when somebody's a really good person, they're just a really top person, they're just a good oil, a good spot, a damn right good person. A good oil? That's what I'm guessing anyway. A Barbie. Now, everybody knows what a Barbie is, you would have to be living under a rock to not know what a Barbie is, but it would not be an Australian list without including a Barbie. A BBQ, a barbecue, Barbie. Self-explanatory. Mushy. Now I know the answer to this because I was guessing it earlier on and my daughter kind of gave me the answer. But if I was guessing mushy, I would have said, oh, really, really mushy, really, um, somebody that's really, um, you know, soppy, lovey-dovey, really mushy videos on, on the TV. But that was absolutely incorrect. What was I thinking? A mushy is absolutely what a mushy would be here. Shrimps, mushies, mushy, a mushroom. A mushroom. Sunnies. I think it's going to be self-explanatory. Sunglasses. Sunglasses to protect you from the bright sunshine. Sunglasses. <laughs> a furphy. I have absolutely no idea what a fur face is. I'm just going to say a fur coat. <laughs> a fur I have no fucking idea. A furry Murphy. A fur A Billy. A Billy. Somebody who's called William. Billy. Billy Conley. Billy. Billy. Somebody who's called William. Willie. Billy. Or a Billy Goat. I have no idea what Aussies are going to have to call a Billy, but that's what we would call it. A cosy, a costume, something that you're wearing. You're, what you wear, what, you, what cosy are you putting on this uh, Halloween, or maybe even just as simple as you're getting dressed up to go out with your friends on a Friday night, you put your cosy on. Your costume are you wearing? A Polly. A Polly. Like, I have absolutely no idea what a poly is. I'm going to guess a poly, a polythene bag, a poly bag, um, poly bag, polythene bag, posy, 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 um, posy, I have no idea, posy, um, your posture, your posy, your posy, whatever, I don't know, fucking clue. Posy, no idea. Bizzo. Now I was kind of guessing Bizzo to be a biscuit, but that's stupid because a, a biscuit is a bicky. 
Uh, bizzo, your business, your business. Stay out of my bizzo, mate. Mind your own biz, bizzo, mind your own business. Or I'm setting up my own bizzo, mate. I'm setting up my own business. Like this, my YouTube channel is a, a little part time bizzo that I've got going on. My business. Mind your own business. So, how did I do, Australians? That's just a short list. There is absolutely thousands of Australians. Uh, Australian slang terms and phrases and sayings and words for everything. Everything's been abbreviated down um, or slanged up, if you like, to an Aussie, an Aussie terminology. So that's just a short list. How did I do? I'm not sure yet. But as I say, on the video, you're already seeing the answers. I will not know until I start editing this video. Thanks very much for all my Australian um, subscribers, viewers, and people that are just friends to the channel now over time. We've been doing Australian videos now for about six months. I thought I'll have a little bit of fun and I'll get some Australian slang words and terms. Um, bit of banter. Um, if anybody's got anything else they'd like to see me reacting to or taking on as a challenge or something, to do with Australia, please feel free to drop a comment in the description section below and thanks as always for your continued support. Have a good one folks, good on you mate. Um, thanks very much for watching, I am the Don Fella, peace and goodbye.